On this video, we are using JRC ECDIS and we are going to operate function pertaining to alarms on depth, contour, position, and system. First thing we are going to show is to select the safety contour and safety depth. Now to do that, let's locate the main menu located in the lower left, then press, and then choose alert, and alert window will pop out. So select depth safety contour and the crossing safety contour alarm will show on the window including the values now to change the values of shallow contour safety depth safety contour deep contour according to your calculated safety parameter press view setting for chart command then press next in here, you can change the values. For example, number uh, shallow water, change it to 10 meters. Just type 10, then press enter. Then press mouse, left click, then put it back to 8, then enter. Now, next is to select two or four color contour. On same window, same procedure, you can see here a four shaded box to tick. You can observe that on the Ectis, we have four shaded contour. Now, to select two color shade, just untick this box and you can see on the monitor that you can only have a two shaded contour. That is how we select two or four color contour mode. Now, next is to select deep and shallow area display option. On the same window, you can, uh, let's select four shaded again. You can change the deep contour value here. For example, 26, then press enter. And the shallow contour, for example, let's put it to 10, then enter. So that is how we select deep and shallow area display option. The next is to show how to set all parameters concerning to safety domain. Now to do that on the same window, let's go to chart display. On the chart display, there's a view one and view two. On view 1, press next. Then all of the layers are indicated here. You may choose other parameters concerning the safety by ticking the box. There is also a layer on view 2. Then press select. Then you can untick or tick the information on the layers that you want to see on your ECDIS. There's a lot of option. Just scroll it down and tick the box. Now to see alarms and other alerts, how is this, uh, how the alerts are given when I ECDIS and the procedure needed to acknowledge them. So, here are the alarms. We have, we can set the look ahead parameters here, the new targets, the track control, position integrity, AMS, BN and WAS. Then, you can acknowledge the alarm and see the alarm active on this uh, window. Press list, then all of the active alarms information are listed here. Now to acknowledge each, you may press acknowledge. And if you want to know the information, including the advice, just press one of the alarms and on the right side you can see the details including the advice what to do
So that's it. How to operate function pertaining to alarms and depth, contour, position, and system.